Boise, Idaho, Bigfoot lumbering. This one this looks like... This is definitely a Bigfoot that likes potatoes. This I mean, one, if you're in Boise, come on. This one rocks the ground as it walks. This is just a, a power monger. He looks like he's stepping light. And this one has, like, huger gluteals than the ones really? I've seen. Yeah, this No, is, this one's got smaller gluteals. No, this one's a, a freaking I think the Texas beast. Bigfoot had bigger gluteals. I don't know. I don't think so. But... Oh, so now it used to be you used to think the Texas Bigfoot was well, skinnier. What, well, the, I'm just saying it looks to me like the Texas Bigfoot here probably had bigger gluteals than the Idaho Bigfoot. Okay, now going back to Brian Sykes, who's a geneticist from Oxford, England, and a professor at Oxford University, it just shows how much DNA and science can just break through some of the crap. He was on a radio show, a college radio show, and he was discussing his book DNA USA. And he had a caller was the saying that, that he read a book, I can't remember the name of it, but was saying that Africans, people of African descent, were the first ones to, to reach the Americas. Wasn't the, the Vikings? No, no, I don't know who it was. It could, I mean, they, I've heard people say some of the first people were both Australian, uh, like black Australians really? in South America. But whatever tribe that this guy was trying to say from this book that he read was black, it seemed like the guy possibly might have had an, a, an agenda. But Brian Sykes said, well, we've tested them, and his science does not agree. Brian Sykes, if it was a group that hated him or whatever, he would, he'd would he have to go with the science. And no, we've tested these are the results. He can only so go what, with what the results. So what was the conclusion of the, of the results of the test? Well, that they're, the people that he tested were from Asia, were, were either Siberians or uh, from China. The Actual Native Americans were not Sub-Saharan African. It was just it was somebody wrote a book that was maybe perhaps wishful thinking that that was the case, but it wasn't. It's like you can write about anything; it doesn't necessarily mean it's it's true. And when you do the scientific test, you can make heads or tails. It's just like Justin Samias says he killed a Bigfoot. They did a test; they said it was a bear. He swears up and down it was a Bigfoot. Right. Well, I mean, so what? Who do you believe? Someone's opinion or their uh, or science? Well, you have to go with science. Um, we've talked about there's certain times where people interpret science wrong. For example, they were saying you had said before they said for the longest time that egg yolks were was it egg yolks. Yeah, it was egg yolks that were high in cholesterol. It was more than you needed. You shouldn't be eating egg cholesterol. Or maybe they are high egg in yolks. cholesterol, but it's not bad for you. There's good cholesterol and bad cholesterol. That's why they always advertise eating egg whites. You know, egg white this, egg white that. I, I need the yolks. Come on. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, sometimes you know people misinterpret science, and you and you, they get it wrong. The advice they give is detrimental. So what are you saying? What is your statement that you believe in science? Absolutely, but you also have to have caution in how you interpret science. 